we're going to talk about seed germination or what a seed does when you plant it. Why is this important? Because we have to sometimes pretend to be Mother Nature to encourage the seed to go ahead and break its dormancy and begin growing. If you collect your own seed and you store it, sometimes you store it for quite a long time and you want to know whether or not it's still any good. You can take a small Ziploc bag when a wet paper towel, add a few seeds that you've either soaked or done whatever you needed to do to see if they're still sprouting. And if you can usually tell if only one or two are sprouting, then odds are most of them have already lost all their energy and will not sprout. So then you just throw them out there and see what you get or go ahead and go buy new seed. I do this a lot on vegetable seeds because I plant a very small garden and after three or four years I may still be using the same bean seeds. So what does a plant do when it germinates? Well, first of all, it takes up water and the seed swells. And then the first thing that comes out, I've started a few here. There's the, there's the little seed and it has grown this root and from the root then it goes ahead after sending out the root it goes ahead and sends up these first leaves. So the seed takes up water the first thing it does is send out a root so it can continue to take up water and then it sends up a pair of leaves so it can begin doing photosynthesis manufacturing food for it to grow. That is what germination is. On the back of all seed packets, it will give you a germination rate. Germination means the ability to at least put the root out and possibly get the leaves up. So if it says 95%, most of the seeds in your packet are going to go ahead and grow into a plant. If it says 50%, then you know you're only going to get about half the seeds. The information on your packet will also tell you if you have to do something to break that dormancy, to force it to grow. So there's all my little baby radish seeds that I started the other day for you. The most common one is soaking. And I think just about everybody who's ever planted beans knows that you soak them overnight. Soaking is nothing more than putting them in water. Some require soaking at least half a day. Some require a full day. There are some seeds that require 48 hours or more. Usually you'll have information on your packet or in some other sort of uh, book that will tell you what you need to do. These will now soak, they'll swell, and then when you put them in the ground, they'll immediately start sending out their root, and then they'll start sending up their leaves. The second thing is called scarification. And all that, if, you, if the term scarification, you think scar, S-C-A-R. What you're doing is with sandpaper, and we had some, it's usually done on the hard seeds, like your ah, hardy hibiscus. The hardy hibiscus has a, is a little, seed but this coating is very very hard. Well what you want to do with scarification is to rough that up so that when the seed does get wet it takes up the water and starts the germination. 
a lot of times they'll say, just rub them between two blocks of wood with sandpaper. I like to cut a piece of sandpaper, put it in a box, add the seeds, and rough them up that way. That way the seeds don't fly off this way and that. Once you've got them roughed up, then you just go ahead and plant them or go ahead and soak them afterwards. That's scarification, SCAR, S-C-A-R. Now the third thing when you're playing Mother Nature, scarification usually is, soaking is usually, it soaks in a rain puddle. That's what you're imitating. Scarification is when the seed gets blown along on the wind and the rocky or sandy soil roughs it up like the sandpaper. Stratification. Sometimes your seed starting books will talk about stratification. And strat, I always think of strata like the stratosphere. Up in the stratosphere it's like cold and wet and so what you wind up doing is you put your seeds in some sand or I like to use sterile perlite. Did you get that okay? Uh, and you put, this gets damp, you put the seeds in there, get the air out, wrap it up and into usually the refrigerator because it'll either want to be cold stratification at 40 degrees uh, and it's for however long you're pretending winter to be. For some seed, seeds it will be a month, for other seeds it'll be three to six months. So you have to know what the seed wants and what to do to it. There's another one called warm stratification. That's where once you plant the seed, you put it on the heating pad. Tomatoes are famous for that if you want to start them early indoors. You put your seedlings on a warming pad at 65 degrees and that will then trigger that warmth, that even warm soil temperature will trigger germination. So that's all there really is to getting seeds kick-started basically or germinated.